Hello, it's Bini here. Today, I want to share with you my analysis into Singapore banks. Uh, UOB just reported today and DBS just reported last week and they had stunning results, but the prices dropped. All right. Uh, in this video, I want to analyze why they dropped and to offer you two very interesting facts and you wish that you knew about these facts. All right. So let's head on to the video. All right. On the screen, you see... Um, UOB Q4 earnings, UOB Q4 earnings um, net profit drum 37%. All right, that's stunning. But one thing, if you look inside the analysis, all right, it said that uh, there is this uh, income surge, right, of 53%. All right, and that came from NIM, all right, which rose by 66 basis point and loan grew by 3%. But what's very interesting is this line here, and I and I want you guys to pay attention to this line. It said that the net fee income dipped 16%, all right, as robust credit card fees that means that people are using credit card but that was more than offset by a softer wealth management okay so softer wealth management and loan related fees now this is quite consistent with what uh, dbs is showing because dbs on the other hand reported last uh, week and it said similar things all right but before that, let's take a look at what happened to UOB when it reported. Today, UOB dropped by 4.8%. In fact, that, you know, from the reporting, all right, it just dropped. But one interesting thing was that before the earnings yesterday, all right, it's closed as if that it was super, super bullish, all right. And, and uh, those who bought in yesterday, all right, to trade into the earnings would be actually making a loss of, you know, minimum 4.8% right now. Well, now let's take a look at what DBS said. It said that while underlying loans demand remains healthy, all right, however, some corporates are shifting their borrowing to cheaper financing option or repaid opportunistic borrowing so because of the high interest all right corporations are repaying their borrowing and most important the same thing as what UOB said the wealth management customers reduced margin loan okay so that's the key thing here because of the high interest rate well initially the banks will benefit from the high interest rate but as times move where interest rate keeps uh, being very uh, you know, sticky on top, then banks are finding problems with lending the money, all right? Either that corporations or individuals are, um, are paying back what they loan or they have actually reduced their investment or reduced their margin loans, all right? So over long term, um, what the two banks are telling us is that uh, probably going forward, right, we might not be seeing that good, uh, you know, returns or earnings from the bank's because of the higher interest. All right, so let's take a look at what happened to DBS after the earnings. In fact, the DBS reported and uh, the high was about 36.41, right? but see that it dropped by 5.6%. All right, so that's a lot. And and uh, from the point that uh, it reported earnings, basically, right, the bank's the DBS just dropped. All right, now I like to share all right, and probably the most important part of this video, which are two facts that I think you need to know, or you need to know these facts, um, and, and going forward, I, I think that these facts would be very, very useful for you. Number one, if you take a look at the um, UOB in terms of the past quarters, in terms of the earnings, right? So E would be where that's earnings, all right? So these would be the current earnings right now, right? The last year, during February earnings, UOB after earnings actually actually dropped a massive fifteen percent. All right, so this could be also because of the uh you know the the trading condition. But I think that to a large extent, okay, a lot of people are probably selling after the earnings. All right, we have for example during the um uh August earnings here also on the very same day. Okay, on the same day, UOB dropped by four point one six percent. Okay, now today, right, same thing, right? Instead of it's, you know, going up after a stunning result, it's actually dropped. So if you look into the recurring pattern for the past two quarters, and in fact, if you take a look at all the banks, the three banks for the past th two to three quarters, all of them, 
all right, after earnings drop. Okay, so that's the first fact. All right, so if you are looking to buy, uh, you know, in hope of a stunning earnings to probably earn from that earnings, I think you'll be very, very disappointed. The market will probably trade ahead of the earnings. All right, and when the cat is out of the bag, they would release the cat. All right, and that's where price drop. All right, so that's the uh, first uh, uh, facts I want to share with you. The second fact, which I think it's very important uh, and is something that I'm using to trade, is that take a look at UOB. Or if you take a look at the yesterday's uh, price movement, it moved up as if that it was so bullish. Okay, so this is such a bullish pattern here. In fact, that you know it closed right to the top. Okay, and has been very very sticky to the top here at thirty one dollars. All right. Now this is a very common wash and rinse pattern. Okay, so this is where a lot of people try to push the price to attract you know probably people to come in to buy, but in fact it pushed all the way right to the top. Now if you um can take some time to watch uh, a recording that I did with SGX Academy, I've mentioned this right that I was expecting a very strong resistance to come in at. Thirty-one dollars. Okay, in fact, that um, you will be moved to thirty-one dollars, and it plunged by four point seven nine percent. So do take note of such wash and rinse activities. If you'd like to know more, I will just explain a little bit uh, in any subsequent videos that I'm gonna do. All right. So take your time to watch that video that I did to say that UOB is slightly to go to $31 and from there, that's the resistance. UOB moves up the most amongst the three banks, but it doesn't um, remove the fact all right, that UOB is heading towards a resistance. Okay, Resistance levels will be potentially places you might want to consider a put warren and that resistance level is around $31. Okay. All right, you might be interested to know what's my key levels of support for UOB. Uh, I'm uh, not very positive right now. In fact, I'm a little bit bearish. So same thing, I'm sticking to my view that um, $31 is likely to be the resistance. All right, and then uh, since it's broken $30, we might see $28. $9 or in fact, right, um, a, a, a move towards $28.80 as I mark in my chart. All right, now, so let's take a look at DBS now. If you are looking at DBS, then maybe the next question is whether the, the fall uh, is going to stop soon. I don't think so because my mark support for DBS is going to be about $33.50. So it's still holding on to the levels that I've talked about in my um, webinar. All right, so it's still thirty dollars and fifty cents. Okay, we're gonna see whether at that level the support is gonna hold true. All right, I hope that you have enjoyed my uh session today. All right, thanks a lot, and hope to see you soon. Uh, please remember that uh to subscribe so that I can uh notify you in case that's additional videos that I'm gonna do, especially the one on wash and means.